Our next guest is a seven-time Emmy nominee with four podcasts, two TV shows, and a live show at the New York Comedy Festival on November 10th. Please welcome Nicole Byer. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. I like that dress. That's I know, serious. Right? It says uh, things, and you know what it says? Because uh, I think that's uh, either Japanese I don't or. don't read. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Could be anything on there, huh? <laughs> you know, last, how are you? Because the last time you were here, uh, you spoke about an ill fated vacation to the Bahamas. Yes, and then everyone in the Bahamas said, We hate her. Yeah, they got mad. They got yeah. real mad at you. Yeah, and they were yeah. going through my Instagram, posting me and things. So I made like a post that was like, If you're from the Bahamas and you're mad at me, comment here. I'll delete anything nice. And that's what I did, and they really came through. <laughs> Why did you delete the nice stuff? You just wanted <laughs> because to be it was pure? for the people of the Bahamas who hate me. <laughs> I, see. I didn't want positivity. I just wanted insults. <laughs> but you didn't have a problem with the Bahamas so much. You no. had a problem with, like, the hotel, right? Just the hotel and yeah. a couple of, you know, mishaps, like running out of gas on a jet ski, which is not the Bahamas' fault. No, it's not. Yeah, you can't yeah. blame that on the Bahamas. <laughs> um, so have you given up vacationing altogether? Or no. Did, no. I said I'm going everywhere, Bar Barbados, Amsterdam, Greece, uh, Mexico, Sonoma. This was all just this summer? Uh-huh. Really? Yeah. Any places you want to enrage? Uh, turn, uh, <laughs> take yeah, some shots at Sonoma. Yeah, I want the people of Sonoma. Sonoma to hate me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, that's a tough crowd, the Sonomans. Oh, uh, yeah, they're just drunk, you know? <laughs> and that's why I loved it. Who do you go with on these vacations? Well, Barbados, I went with my family, so... It was fun. How many people in the family? It was my sister, my aunt, my uncle, and my grandpa, who's insane. Is he really? He's wild. He just turned 95 yesterday. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And he is leaning into it. <laughs> we left the house at 2.30 for a 5 a.m. flight, and he's a half hour from the airport. I told him, you cannot bring anything. It's too early. Don't do the math. Five, it's too early. Out. Yeah. Where were you flying to? From Chicago to uh, Barbados. Okay, I'm with Grandpa on this. I Are think you? maybe I'm I'm almost a Grandpa myself. So <laughs> I uh, yeah no well, because Jimmy, you, it's, it's an international early. flight. Yeah, but we were connecting in Miami, so that's domestic. The man was 94 years old at this time. <laughs> He's supposed know. to go running through like OJ through the airport. No, I'll run. He's in a wheelchair, so oh, we I just see. slide around. Yeah. <laughs> But I told him, I was like, don't bring anything past, like, 3.5 ounces. So he brought two full-size bottles of cologne. And I was like, who are you trying to f*** in Barbados? What? Two what? bottles of cologne. Two. Two. <laughs> Why? And then he made me read the thing in the seat back pocket. And I was like, if this plane goes down, we're dying. I'm like, <laughs> what am I doing? Did they make him get rid of the cologne? <laughs> Yes. Oh, and boy. He was very upset about it. I would it, imagine and so. And I didn't hear the end of it. <laughs> but I was like, it's $9.99 at Target. I'll get you some. <laughs> and then he didn't call anybody in Barbados. He just showed up, knocked on doors, and was like, it's me, bebe. And <laughs> these are relatives that. <laughs> these yeah. are relatives that he hasn't seen in a while. Didn't call them and was like, hey, last time you're going to see me, I'm going to die. <laughs> Is this a Barbadian tradition? <laughs> to give money and be like, I'm gonna die. <laughs> really? How many, uh -huh. how many doors did he knock on? I think we went to five. Uh, wow, 50 bucks a piece. <laughs> Was he fun on vacation? I mean, fun is relative. We were at the beach and he just took off his bathing suit. The reason was, it was wet. And... <laughs> 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 And so he was just nude on the beach? <laughs> he was nude on the beach, and there was people on the beach that were like, there's a bathroom right there. And he was like, it's done. Like, <laughs> he is wild. How long did he remain nude on the beach? Oh, not that long. Was it a nude beach? No. No. No, <laughs> it's a very modest <laughs> country, Barbados. It was not a nude beach. Uh, everyone was truly like, what is happening? And I was like, it's my grandpa. You also, I know this because you posted it, went to go see Beyonce. Yes, uh, I did. Was this here in LA? 
Yeah, you um, wore the silver outfit. Everybody had to wear a silver outfit, right? She told us. Well, I mean, not specifically, like, yeah. me and Sashir, but she had an Instagram story where she was like, wear silver, and I was like, that's the least I could do. You're performing. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, like, bought that. Sashir bought hers. Hers almost didn't come in time. And then it... Did you see her? I, no, you know what? My wife Jimmy. went, and I couldn't get any silver together. So what I did, I, I made some wristbands. This is not a joke. Out of... Um, <laughs> out of Reynolds wrap, out of aluminum <laughs> foil. You have so much money. You... It was, it was during the strike. Is that not, that's true, right? I'm a brick. And where I scotch tape, I scotch tape them so I would have something silver. It was deemed unacceptable. I love it, so though. So she went with her gay friends. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, A for effort. <laughs> I Did you have how good seats? You Did you have a... Oh, I had pretty good seats, but, uh, like, on the floor. I wasn't in the, the hive, I think is what it's called, where you're, like, standing there. I was right. like, I need to sit. Did Beyonce catch your eye? Do you, like, do you know Beyonce at all? No. No. But I have met her. Okay, I met her at the VMAs, and this was when Lemonade came out. So, also, she came with her own Wi-Fi. Like, what are you, AT&T? Like, what, what do you mean? It was wild. Smart. So, right? Yeah. So, you can't get whatever. So, she's, like, walking past me, and we were told when she walks past you, you have to, like, stand against the wall with your hands against the wall, which sounds like overkill, but, like, I've met famous people before, and I've, like, almost tried to hug them before. I'm like, what am I doing? And you feel like you know Beyonce, and then they told us not to talk to her, but she was just so beautiful. I needed to tell her, so I looked at her, and I was like... You're such a treat. And she touched my shoulder. I went, thank you. And I was like, oh, oh, Beyonce thanked me. <laughs> oh, she's so You're such stunning. a treat. What a thing. She really is, if and, you think about and it. And you kept your hands on the wall oh, the yeah, whole time? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like... <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're playing the uh, Apollo Theater yes. as part of the New York Comedy Festival, which is a big deal. This is a historic Huge theater. Deal. Yeah. Have you played there before? No, never. never. And yeah. growing up, I would watch Showtime at the Apollo. Yeah, you know, when Sandman. people get booed, you yeah. know? And now I get to play it and not worry about getting booed. People want to come, I think. Well, they're paying to see you, so you're yes. probably not going to... If they are paying just to boo you, then they've wasted a good deal of money. I think so. Yeah. So... I'm excited. I'm so I lived in Harlem for so long. I walked past the Apollo. So it's really like it's, it's those a dream. those moments like that that really make that really mean something. Yeah, right? truly. It's funny how some of the big things don't mean that much, but then the things like a, the <laughs> you're Apollo. You're absolutely theater. right. And um, also, you're on Wipeout. I know, which, yes. which is on TBS with John Cena. Yes. And that is coming back it, for season two. Yeah. Season two, right there in the beginning of November. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got like twelve podcasts now, which I is know. too many podcasts. I love I to think. talk. <laughs> and you're nominated for an Emmy right now yes. for uh, Nailed It. Wow. Yes. All right, everything's good. Yeah. You know what? I got to tell you something. I feel like next time you walk through the hall, Beyonce should put her hands on the wall for you. You know, that was a, a kind sentiment. <laughs> <laughs> and one more apology to the Bahamas? You know, no. No. Okay, all right. All right. See Nicole Meyer at the New York Comedy Festival, November 10th at the Apollo Theater. Thank you, Nicole. We'll be Thank back with Megan Maroney.